Trouble in turn three, a huge multi-car crash, and they are still piling in. There's Kenny Wallace down on the apron. Derek Culp, Jeremy Mayfield, Rusty Wallace. Among those involved, Rusty getting a push from Terry Labonte. Man, look at Kurt's car. Trying to get out of the grass there. Kurt Busch's car is well wrecked, and we are under caution. There is Scott Riggs. The rookie had a great qualifying effort. He started fifth today, and on lap 84, oh, Casey Kane. I mean, guys, I see a lot of our guys top ten in points, like Kurt Busch came in here second in points. And the word is that thus far, everybody is okay. And we talk a lot about the big one, and we've just had it, but, Darrell, since NASCAR took a proactive stance on driver safety, 2001 we've not had a serious injury in the big one what triggers let's see, this let's see what happened over here yikes looked like it uh, the 20 car made some contact with the 97 getting into three over there and boy you can see the results and Daryl that happened down low a lot of those cars were going high but Kurt Busch went up the racetrack right there that got about six or eight of them took a pretty hard lick too looking down to the inside just, just not quite bit. enough not quite enough room there buddy up he comes. There's Riggs getting tipped down to the apron, and, and everybody just swallowed up as those 33-degree bankings clean themselves of cars. They slide down into those who were trying to take evasive. We saw Kenny Wallace in the double zero car hit that outside wall very hard. Remember, they just installed the safer barriers. And just remember, what goes up has to come down. And they go up, hit the wall, and then down the hill they come. Riding with Jeff Gordon, it all happens behind him. What's that? Yeah, the 97 wow. just gets turned, man. Rusty Wallace. Oh, ooh, hit his youngest brother, Kenny Wallace. Man, that was hard. And they're still piling in. That's Casey Kane who just piled in. Let's ride with Casey Kane. That's Derek Cope just ahead. really hard it's physically okay uh, mentally obviously upset right now I'm, I'm listening to you with the uh, one word answers trying to put on a, a good face and looking forward to next week but I guess uh, maybe a little frustration with the, the 20 car yeah we're, we drafted down the front straightaway together real well and all race I acknowledged he was on the bottom lane that's cool you know we, we drafted together I was gonna call him on Monday dude everything was great I don't know why he committed to turn three as late as he did. He knew he needed to follow me, and now we're here instead of out on the track. It's a bad finish. So far this year, our two worst finishes are on restricted play races. So Rusty Wallace not going to make it two for two. Rusty, what happened? Oh, there was just a big pileup. That's all there was to it. Everybody was really, really running close. There was a lot of bumping and banging out there. Uh, a lot, lot more banging than I've seen here in the past. You know, this is always a nail biter, no doubt about it. But. Uh, a lot of bumping and banging, and I guess somebody takes somebody and turn them sideways. And I was all the way up top of the racetrack. I had a good car. You know, I took a couple times, ran it up front, but I was just kind of hanging out on top of the racetrack because I was just tired of getting in that mess, you know. And uh, and the top lane after a while, I just couldn't make much ground, so I moved down to center, started trucking forward. And that particular lap, I moved back up to the top. And when the wreck happened, I was three wide, couldn't get back down. How different the racing compared to Daytona with this same package? Oh, the race is much, much different here. At Daytona, the cars get away from each other. You know, the, the, the tires wear, uh, handling really gets into it. But everybody's cars are handling here, and they're all on top of each other, the bumper to bumper. But, man, I just couldn't believe how uh, forceful everybody was getting. There was a lot of people running into each other. There's cars running really, really good. They'd come by me, and their right sides are tore off, and those are tore off, and they're still bashing into people. But uh, it's an exciting race for the fans, but I'll tell you what. For a driver, it's not too much fun out there, i tell you that. And I hate that our cars tore up, although we're able to drive into the garage. They're getting the left front fender on it now. We're going to get back on and get some points. You're okay, but boy, a very scary and frustrating incident. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know, it's, it happens here. Uh, it's too bad because we had, a, you know, our Dodge Steelers, UAW Dodge was, was a good car. We were right in the middle of the pack all day. And it sounds like Stewart started it all. And uh, he started a lot of things this year, so I guess. Your uh, mentor. I don't know. I don't know about that. Frustration, I guess, with the 20 car as well? Oh, you know, I'm sure. I, I didn't watch Kurt Busch's interview, but I'm sure he probably spoke for us all. You know, uh, Tony Stewart's a very good friend of mine. 
So I, I plead the, uh, what is it, the fifth? The fifth, my friend. I plead the fifth because I like Tony Stewart, but, uh, you know, just antsy. And um, I hate it for Ken Butler and everybody at Aaron's Lease. Um, Aaron's Dream Machine, it was almost a dream weekend, but it just turned out really wrecked. So we'll go on to the next race. Jeff Burton was really frustrated at what happened. We listened in. Big time, big time. Do something about that. They need to do, that is ridiculous right there. He just freaking wrecked it. I mean, he wasn't even, that wasn't even close. He just turned and made it three wide and just wrecked him. That's pathetic. Burton supporting Kurt Busch's view of Stewart's late commitment to the bottom in turn three. NASCAR has admonished the 20 team and told them to be a little, to be less aggressive.